So many companies were severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. These companies were forced to close their doors or significantly reduce operations due to lockdowns, travel restrictions, and consumer fear. In 2020, as the pandemic spread worldwide, a new type of crisis began to emerge, bankruptcies. Businesses that had a good start in the year, had to deal with a new reality that kept customers at home, and sometimes closed stores permanently. Many of these companies never fully recovered from the economic ruin caused by the pandemic. In this video, we will be giving you 10 companies that were mostly affected by COVID-19, but have since emerged from bankruptcy. Let's get into the video. Companies mostly affected by COVID-19 Number 1, J. Crew. By the summer of 2020, everyone knew that retailers were in trouble. Shopping centers had been shut, retail facades covered, and clients secured at home for quite a long time. As a result, sales were falling all over the place. J. Crew was in no position to survive a global pandemic, because of the decline in mall foot traffic, and the rise of online retailers over the past few years. In an effort to reduce its nearly $2 billion in debt, the company filed for bankruptcy in May. 2. Tailored Brands Everything around us, from how we socialize to where we get our food, was altered by the pandemic. Perhaps the most significant change was how we worked. Companies like Zoom Video Communications benefited from the rise of the work-from-home industry, but companies that once dressed us up for boardroom presentations became affected by COVID-19. Tailored Brands, the parent company of a bank and men's warehouse, was one of those businesses, whose sales plummeted as customers switched from khakis to sweatpants. Tailored Brands was forced to file for bankruptcy in August, closing approximately 500 locations as costs grew. At number 3 is Hertz Global Holdings. Every business in the sector began to suffer as the pandemic saw a decline in travel. Hertz was one of those businesses. Its rental cars remained on the lot while its used car sales plummeted, despite mounting debt obligations. When Hertz was unable to make a payment in late April, it set off alarm bells because the company had somehow accrued an outrageous debt of $17 billion by 2020. On May 22, Hertz declared bankruptcy. 4. J.C. Penney Company Before anyone had heard of COVID-19, J.C. Penney was already struggling, shifting consumer demand to major competitors like Amazon.com and Walmart, but the virus proved to be the end. In May 2020, the company declared bankruptcy. Number 5 is Whiting Petroleum Corp. Oil producer Whiting Oil purchased up large lumps of the Bakken oil field throughout the course of recent years, accumulating a gigantic heap of obligations that it was battling to cover toward the finish of 2019. Whiting was in trouble with debts totaling hundreds of millions of dollars due in 2020, and several billion more due in subsequent years. The pandemic-driven decline in travel, and the one-two punch of an OPEC-Russia price war sent oil prices to historic lows, upending Whiting's business and sending shares down by more than 90% in the three months prior to the company's April 1st bankruptcy filing. Before we talk about the sixth company, kindly help us to put this video in front of many that may need it by clicking on the like button, and sharing this video with people that it will interest in your network. Thank you for staying tuned. Moving on to number 6, Chesapeake Energy Corp. According to corporate law firm Haynes & Boone, 46 oil and gas producers went bankrupt in 2020. This is especially true given that the price of crude oil dropped for the first time in history in April, to less than $0 per barrel for the first time in history in April. The industry was doomed by a pandemic that destroyed car travel, and an oil dispute between OPEC and Russia. Chesapeake Energy quickly found itself caught up after financing its shale drilling boom with debt. With more than $9 billion in debt, and $1 billion in maturities and interests alone, Chesapeake's pay couldn't cover its commitments, and the organization had to declare bankruptcy in June. Number 7. GNC Holdings. Numerous companies were directly and negatively ruined by the COVID-19 pandemic. Restaurants had to close their dining rooms, clothing stores no longer had customers, and so on. GNC, which sells normal enhancements and nutrients, really saw developing interest for its items during the pandemic. However, it was a little too late for the business, which was saddled with debt totaling approximately $900 million heading into 2020, 
and had to close many of its retail locations for several weeks. GNC filed for bankruptcy in June due to lower sales, a decreasing cash supply, and upcoming debt payments. At number 8 is, Cedar Fair. Cedar Fair, based in Ohio, the company that owns and operates amusement parks, water parks, and hotels throughout the United States and Canada, experienced the greatest decline in revenue of all the businesses analyzed in 2020. Between 2019 and 2020, its revenues decreased by 87.7%, going from $1.5 billion to $182 million. The company suspended operations at its parks in response to the spread of COVID-19 in the middle of March 2020, and resumed partial operations at 10 of its 13 properties in stages beginning in the middle of June. In 2020, there were a total of 487 operating days for the company, compared to 2,224 in 2019. 9. Carnival. Carnival was considered the largest travel and leisure company in the world but between 2019 and 2020, Carnival's revenue fell by 73.1%. Onboard and other revenues decreased by 72%, while passenger ticket revenues decreased by 74%. The company was forced to halt guest operations in mid-March 2020, and resume limited ones in September of that year. All sailings from April 2021 through June were cancelled. Carnival has expressed concern that the pause in guest operations will have a greater impact on its financial position the longer it lasts. Restructuring costs, repatriating guests and staff, improving health protocols, and defending lawsuits were additional COVID-related expenses incurred by the business. All geographic regions saw significant declines in Carnival's revenue, particularly in Asia and Australia, Europe, and North America. Finally at number 10 is Wynn Resorts. Wynn Resorts, based in Nevada, is a developer and operator of high-end hotels and casinos. Between 2019 and 2020, its revenues fell by 68.3%, from $6.6 billion to $2.1 billion. In its Macau operations, operating revenues decreased by 79%, and in its Las Vegas operations, by 54%. The revenues at its Encore Boston Harbor Hotel decreased slightly by 0.6%, though it should be noted that the hotel only opened in June 2019. The negative effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, such as travel restrictions, property closures, and hotel capacity limitations, sparked these declines. The pandemic resulted in a 73% drop in revenue for casinos, with the Macau Casino shutting down for 15 days in February, before reopening with a reduced schedule. Its Las Vegas and Boston gambling clubs shut from 2020 until June and July, individually. In 2020, casino revenues represented 59% of operating revenues, compared to 70% in 2019. In conclusion, the COVID-19 pandemic had a significant impact on many companies around the world. Those most affected by the recession caused by the pandemic include companies in the travel and tourism industry, such as airlines and hotels, as well as those in the retail and hospitality sectors. Many of these businesses have had to temporarily close or significantly reduce their operations due to government restrictions and a decrease in consumer demand. We have come to the end of this video. Do you know any other companies that were mostly affected by COVID-19? If yes, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you turn on your notification so you will be notified when next we post a video.